morning friends welcome to bahu automation lab once again in this online video session we will learn all concept related to the test engine framework this is very uh, important topic uh, while working with the uh, automation uh, if you are working with selenium or you are working with apm uh, anywhere we require to use the test engine framework okay and this is this uh, all video sessions is a requested video session as many student asked me to create a video so on test engine framework uh, framework as they didn't have good knowledge on this or uh, they are confused while uh, getting interview questions related to the test engine framework okay they have a, we have a, like whenever you go to the interview they have a lots of uh, questions related to the test engine framework or while working with the real time environment we have uh, on day to day routine we require to use the test engine annotations so or now all steps related to like a parameterization or listeners class we require to use in your day to day automation process as well so uh, without wasting time we will start uh, to learn what is test ng okay so the agenda of this session is we will learn what is test ng why do we need uh, test ng in selenium what are the benefits of using test ng test annotation this is a very important topic while working with the test ng and lots of the students uh, uh, I saw that they will get confused while working with the test engine annotations or while asking the questions related to the test engine annotations. Okay, so we will get pretty clear idea about this test engine annotations, parameterization in test engine, groups in test engine, include exclude test methods in test engine. Why uh, we use a listener in test engine? So this listener class why we require to use. So let's try to uh, understand the, what is test engine. Why we need to need test engine in selenium uh, first of all let's understand some theoretical part related to the test engine so what is test engine so test engine is the, is the test next generation is the testing framework okay it's the test engine is a testing framework and the long term of test engine is test, test next generations why this next generation because test engine is a, uh, inspired from the j unit this is the older version of test engine or n unit these are the, uh, these both are the older version of test engine but it has a new functionality that's make uh, this came up more powerful and easier okay we have lots of more functionality as compared to the test engine as compared to the j unit and uh, n unit in test engine and we this framework is more powerful as compared to the j unit test engine is designed in a such a way uh, that it covers all the categories uh, of test okay comparison unit funct functional and integrations so what uh, mean by this because this is a very uh, powerful uh, powerful and easier framework as compared to the j unit and uh, in it because uh, we have lots of integrations and it covers all the type of categories test comparisons uh, and uh, we, we have annotations and lots of type of annotations where we can uh, structureize your code in a very simple manner so we'll see this all the steps practically but just understand what is mean by test engine in this so what is test engine the test engine the next generation and uh, it's the newer and powerful version of jnet okay why do we need a test engine selenium okay this is a very important question because test engine is a powerful uh, testing testing framework okay it's very powerful testing framework and it is an inas version of uh, jnet which was in use for a long time before the test engine comes uh, into the exist before uh, test engine is come to the exist jnet was used but now test engine will be more powerful and it, it is easier to use and this is the extension version of test engine uh, extend extends version of uh, jnet and uh, they have a lots of functionality provided in test engine which is uh, it, which is which is create your life easier while writing the code okay so ng stand for the next generation because it is a next generation so that's the reason we require to use a test engine in our selenium uh, framework okay so what are the benefits of using test engine as we we know that that we are this is the very powerful tool so what is the benefit uh, using the test engine so it gives a the ability to produce the html reports uh, of execution whatever execution you done in your test scripts it will uh, produce a html reports for that execution annotations have made a tester life easy this is the very important concept that annotations what how it's very structured for uh, manage your code and uh, structureize your code whatever uh, you want to execute first whatever you want to execute for last whatever you want to execute middle all those things you can manage by this annotation process so this is this made our test life very easy 
test case can be grouped or parameterized more easily. We can group it the test in, we have already seen the agenda, we will group some test cases, okay, we will param, uh, prioritize, prioritize them easily and we also parallel the testing, parallel testing is possible, like we, we can uh, run uh, multiple test cases uh, in a single, uh, single run uh, from the single test engine as well this all the or generates the log it's generates the log data parameterization is possible like we are we can provide the data from parameterize uh, through the stng xml so these all these things uh, we can easily use while working with test ng so these are the very important benefits while working with test ng so we'll create a, a group param priorities the test case we'll run parallel test uh, testing uh, we'll do parallel, parallel testing, gen we'll generate the log and parameterize the test case as well. We'll see all these steps practically one by one, one by one in all the all these sessions. So guys, watch all the sections carefully to understand the test engine framework properly. Okay, so test annotations. So first agenda is test annotations. So first annotation is before suit. This annotations method will be run only once before all the tests in this suit have run. Okay, this uh, Annotation. Okay, name is before suit. We'll run only once before all the tests in this suit have run. After suit, this annotation method will run only once after all the test suit, all the test suits have run. Before suit will run before all the all the tests, and after suit will run after all the tests. Okay, before test annotation method will run before any test method belong to the classes inside the test tag is run okay we'll see this practically uh, steps so that we will get uh, you will get better idea uh, before suit before class after class after method after uh, before method after method all those things so, so this is the sample test ng xml file where we, we have created the test ng uh, xml file this is very important so importance of this test ng files like we have soup name where we have defined the suit name okay the default is there is a just tag like a suit and we can define as per our convenient or apps your project name in the suit name test name you can define here like a whatever you the test you are running you can define the test name in this tag like a test tag after that classes you can add a multiple classes here we can add in multiple test as well okay the test tag is start from here and end here suit is start from here and suit is run uh, end here after that classes and class uh, can create a uh, in class one single class we can we have multiple methods okay and we need to understand the test ng annotations through this test ng xml file itself if you are trying to learn the test ng annotations from the class level uh, then you will get confused or you you don't get the better idea how the test ng annotations will work so we will see this practically uh, through this test ng xml file how the test ng annotations will get work Okay, so let's go to the our Eclipse and uh, let's create a one. We have already seen uh, created this project. Okay, if you don't know how to create a Maven project, or we have already explained in last sessions where we have learned how to take a screenshot, how to take a screenshot with the timestamp, how to uh, find the multiple elements in Selenium Four in all the Selenium Four concepts, right? Now uh, let's create a one more package here to understand the test engine in practically. So let's create a name as com dot selenium dot test ng dot demo. Okay, so test ng demo is the one one package. I'll create a new class in this file as well. So class name is test ng like demo. Okay, so this is the class. Now we will work with the test ng. So with this class we have created. So before the working with the test ng, we required to add some plugins in test ng okay uh, test ng plugin or so our editor will get the knowledge about test ng so we require to install some plugins uh, test ng related plugins we require to add some dependencies in form.xml so uh, just go to the eclipse uh, help section go to this uh, eclipse marketplace to install test ng plugin in your eclipse so this eclipse marketplace get you open okay as per your network uh, network and just search here like a test ng Test ng and uh, hit enter. Okay, so test ng for Eclipse. So this plugin we need to require to install before working with the test ng. I have already installed, so I'm not going to install it. Just click on this button and uh, accept all the arguments. And as per your network speed, it will get installed in your system. Okay, in your editor. After installation, it will ask for restart. Don't forget to restart your Eclipse uh, 
to uh, reflect it in your eclipse and it it will get the knowledge uh, your editor will get knowledge of eclipse okay after that go to the form.xml where we have uh, by default a test ng dependent uh, jnu dependency is added we have already added web driver manager dependency selenium core dependent dependency okay so what we required to add here we required to add uh, up, this is the older one right jnu as we have seen in theoretical part like a jnu is the older one framework so we required to uh, get test ng dependency so just go to the uh, repository uh, website again so this is the remote repository where we can take uh, get all the repositories so just go to the uh, test uh, repository uh, maven repository remote repository and type here test ng so this is the first uh, dependency we required to add so take uh, any one latest version we have we have now re with recording this video 7.6.0 uh, is the latest one so i'll just uh, click on this and add this dependency in your form.xml so i just remove this jnut as this is the older one so i'll just paste test ng dependency here so all test ng uh, dependency related jars will added in our maven dependency m2 folder uh, so that we can easily use it in your script so first step is we require to install uh, test ng from eclipse marketplace and after that in our form.xml we require to add a test ng jar right after that let's create a one test here public void uh, let's say calculator this is the one method uh, we will create and uh, just give it the um, annotation like a test just import this annotations from test ng okay and uh, here we can launch one application like so uh, to launch a uh, application we use web driver manager Web driver manager and we'll use Chrome driver and set up. Okay, so we have already web driver manager dependency added. If you don't know how to use web driver manager, we have already video in our playlist. Just go and watch that how to launch Chrome driver and how to work with this web driver manager. Okay, so let's create a um, one web driver here, like web driver as an instance variable. Web driver driver. Just import this web driver from Selenium and driver dot git okay we are learning uh, like uh, testing the xml so we have this two dummy websites okay so i'll just launch in the websites okay i'm not writing any code here whatever code uh, related to your system or you or your website you can write here whatever it takes okay i'll just show you the demo to the test engine so first of all i'll just create the test here Okay, so after uh, creating this test method, uh, let's create a test in JXML file for this uh, class. Okay, so just right click on this class and uh, convert this uh, particular class to test in JXML file. So this is the text file file auto, auto get, get generated automatically on project level. We just uh, right click and uh, convert this test in file and just click on this finish button. So after that, this test in JXML file get created. So this is the suit and uh, suit level. We can uh, give any name like test ng demo so this is the test ng demo suit and uh, we can give the name as like a calculator okay. so this is the calculator test and you can give any name so we will understand our uh, annotations on this test level okay and you will get the bit right idea about annotations okay. and you will be clear about annotations you will get you will explain anywhere or how to work with the test ng annotations so this is the uh, test in jxml file and uh, we'll just write a simple test here to launch our calculator dot uh, need app uh, website okay so first of all let's write uh, here uh, first two annotations like uh, before suit and after suit okay so first we'll uh, create a before suit and after suit so public void wait let's see. set up and write here like a before Okay, so just import this before suit uh, from the test engine annotations and here i'll just printing the message to understand the uh, understand the flow and test engine okay as we are uh, not creating uh, uh, or we have not uh, like writing any frameworks or anything so uh, in the setup uh, method you can write uh, or uh, like uh, you can generate your reports or anything in the setup uh, this before suit method 
So to try to understand the test engine annotations, I'll just pin, uh, printing some message here. Like I am in the four. I'm in a deep pursuit. After that, uh, let's create a one more annotation like here. After the test, I'm going to create a one more annotation like public void. After this is the annotation, so we can give the name anywhere, uh, anything like a tier down. And uh, let's say, uh, give name um, annotation, add annotation like after. Okay, so let's print a message here like a system dot out dot print in after. So we have added two annotations. Let's see uh, how the execution flow is uh, going on. So I'll before the executing this, I'll explain you how this will get executed because this is the one test with the test engine will create treat as one method. Okay. And this is the before suit, uh, it will get executed first and this will after suit it will get, get executed last because while well, uh, understanding the test engine, first of all, suit level, it will get started. So first before suit means here, before suit get executed first and after the suit end here. Okay, the suit tag is ended here. So after suit means after this suit tag end, uh, after suit tag will be get executed here. Okay, so first executed before suit and after suit. And before in this one test is will get executed. So let's run this test in JXML file by right clicking on this and let's uh, see whether we are able to print properly or whether we are able to launch our filter.net uh, website properly or not and uh, how the instant flow is over. Okay, so I'm in a before suit. So first before suit is uh, get executed. Okay, and uh, I'm in after suit. So after suit will get executed in the last. Okay, perfect. So we have not created any Chrome driver right here. So so let's driver is equal to new Chrome. Okay, so that uh, it will launch our phone driver. Okay, so I'll just change it to phone driver and uh, uh, let's run it again and let's see how it's working. I mean, the people should get executed first. Okay, it's launching our phone browser perfectly. It's launching uh, that calculator.net uh, website. This is a practical website for Silicon and it's a good website to practice. It's, it will get launched and after that, I mean, after suit will get executed. So first, I mean, before suit is executed, after that it's launched or our test get executed and after that, after suit will get executed, okay? So let's understand or uh, let's continue the session uh, for the before test, after test and uh, uh, before class, after class and before method after class in the next session, okay? So you guys watch continue this session in the next part, okay? Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye.